What's up guys, Dave Moss Jr. here. And uh, here at the house, we're about to start construction here. We're doing some stuff, but that's not what this video is about. Back in May of 2021, I decided, hey, I like eggs. We got some property here. Not much, but just enough. And uh, decided I only have some backyard chickens. So I started building a Carolina coop. And today I'm gonna do a quick review on how this coop is holding up and uh, just kind of show you just how, I mean, honestly, structurally, this thing's built great. And I had to put every single piece of this thing together myself. I got 10 chickens, well, nine hens and one rooster. Didn't really want a rooster. Accidentally adopted a rooster. Was told it was a hen, but it's a rooster and that's okay. And uh, let me show you my girls and let me show you this coop. So here she is. This is the six foot by 18 foot American Carolina coop. It was a kit, came with every single thing you need to build the coop. Here's my girls. Every morning, come out and let them run and have a beautiful day. This coop's been through it all so far. It's been through hurricanes, tropical storms, tons of rain. So I'll tell you a couple of the mistakes I made um, that I couldn't really find solid answers to. So I just made the mistakes. And then a couple of things that I did that they don't really recommend and I highly recommend. So. I let my chickens out. I don't have an automatic chicken run door or anything like that. So I, I oh, just open the door and this is just how it is. It's wide open all day long. When the sun goes down, they run in there, they go into their hen house. It's awesome. But I put this little door latch here so it keeps the door open when it's rainy. Another cool thing is this has the, uh, the, the little door package. I don't even know what it's called, but I can close this. So if I really want to just keep the lower half open to keep predator birds from flying in there, which has never happened. I can just shut the top, put a couple sticks in there for them to perch on when uh, it's super rainy and crappy out and I leave them in. I bought this beautiful uh, Coop Work silo. I'll put the link to that in the description. Anybody who has chickens, that is a game changer. Have the automatic continuous water over there with the water bar. And the one thing people typically always say about chickens is they're, they're nasty. I'd say they're not, they don't smell, they're, they're not nasty. Um, if you look at the coop, you can see that it gets dirty. So all I need to do is just clean it. If I just, you know, put a little light pressure wash on this thing, I really think uh, the paint will start to shine again. But one of the things about this coop that I really thought was cool and I never heard of until I kind of checked this one out is uh, the deep litter system. Let me show you that. So this is gonna be surprising and crazy. Uh, when you look inside here, you're gonna think, man, that has to smell. And it's close to my house and it doesn't. So this is the deep litter system. Right here is pretty much since May of 2021, a combination of chicken poop and hemp. And it doesn't smell. It weirdly does not smell. Um, I, I really don't know why. I kind of just expect, this is all, like if you look, it's kind of nasty, right? It seems nasty, it's all poop. It doesn't, I don't get it. But that's part of the deep litter system. Like it just constantly, as they walk on it, the poop will kind of work its way down in the hemp. The hemp will break it down. And when I'm ready to change this out, this is super, super nutrient rich soil. So I do have a little grove and a, a little garden so I can use this as fertilizer for that, which is pretty cool. All right now I've got a little, little double action, Jackie and Bubbles in there. Looks like they're living on the egg. So let me explain something to you. I did not want a rooster. It wasn't my goal. I wanted to just have all, all hens. I ended up with a rooster and I'm having to get these eggs quite often because that's the last thing I want is more chickens running around. I think 10 is the perfect number. It's the perfect number for this coop, but I do have a rooster. Let me show you that little guy. Hey, hey, he's just a young little rooster. He does crow. He does attack my birds and do his little aggressive mating dance. I don't know what he does. It's crazy. I'm still not familiar with having a rooster. I haven't had one, but this, this little guy I've had for a couple months and he's crazy. Nice thing about this coop is instead of the typical high, like when you're reaching in to grab the eggs, you have to like open the top, like most coops. This is pretty cool. Cause even if they're laying in there, it's a little side angle. You can go in there and Jackie, and you can just kind of plop them up. See, there's a few eggs down there. You can just move them, grab the egg. I'll come back for that. So a couple of mistakes I made. One is uh, 
kind of have a really good long-term plan of where you want your coupe to be. I didn't really put as much thought into this as I should have. It's really close to my house, as you can see, and I'm about to start construction and there's gonna be a lot of, a lot of moving parts here. So uh, I just hope that this little guy doesn't get messed with at all, but it's really close to my house. I would have probably moved it down another 10 feet. Actually, I might've even put it in the front yard where the grove is and stuff. Um, but no, it's good. I, I'm not too disappointed with that, but just definitely have a good long-term plan of where you want your coop to be forever because this is not something you can just move. Um, I wish it was, but it's definitely not. A couple of the mistakes that I made other than that are, you see these rocks? Yeah, so I wanted to make sure that the ground was somewhat level and that water could kind of run through it if there was, because when it rains hard, this area doesn't flood, but there's a lot of water that flows from the front yard down into the lake. So I used rock. I decided to dig a trench underneath where the base of this coop's gonna be. And I put a little border of rock down. Well, chickens scratch and kick and kick and scratch and peck and do all that stuff. All this rock you see on the ground was not there. It was like nicely in a little eight inch um, trench around just the base of the legs. It wasn't even inside the coop, but now the rocks are everywhere in the rocks. So they're not really easy to pick up or move back to where they came from. So. Don't use rock. I would highly recommend not using rock. I don't really know what to recommend because that's what I did. But yeah, so I uh, I used rock and I would de I definitely say don't do that. That's pretty much the two things that I did that I wish I would have done differently or I might have considered something different. But um, all in all, man, this is a great coop. Chickens love it. We've only lost one chicken since May of 2021 and that was due to it being egg bound when it was really young and first started laying. It was super sad, it was actually Bluey's sister, we got them together. So Bluey hasn't been the same since, but these girls are, uh, are amazing, man. And if, um, if you've never had chickens and are considering having chickens, do your own research, make sure you can. But hens and roosters are two different birds, not the same at all. And I recommend having chickens. If you like eggs, if you like having free range backyard, you know what's going in your chickens, especially now with all the uh, knowledge that's coming out about, you know, how chickens are fed and really what kind of quality eggs you're getting at the stores and all that stuff. If you can control your chickens and you can control the eggs and the quality of what you're eating, obviously it's a huge benefit to having them yourself. But um, all in all, man, this is it. This is the Carolina Coop. I wanna do a little update because I haven't done one in a while. I love my chickens. Every morning I come out, I let them out. They run around the yard. They keep the grass green and fertile. They eat a lot of the bugs and grubs, which is super cool. They do poop everywhere. That's kind of one downfall to it. But, um, but I wanted to do a little update and tell you I still have them. I still love them. And I hope you guys are having a great day. If you like chicken comment content from my stuff, just subscribe or subscribe. Ah. If you like chicken stuff, I'm, I'm not a YouTuber, so I'm not like a pro at all this whole exiting stuff. But if you like chicken content, you know, give me some comments. Let me know. Like this video. Send it to a friend. You know, maybe consider subscribing. If you don't, then still like it because that'd be pretty cool. And uh, get yourself some chickens and I think you'll change your perspectives there. Other than that, have a great day. And God bless.